WJCL continues to investigate a child sex exploitation sting we brought you first yesterday. It landed six people, including two Fort Stewart soldiers behind bars. Pooler police, FBI and GBI were also involved in this weekend sting. It focused on online sexual predators. Officers say the accused came to meet who they thought were children, but instead they found the police. Those two soldiers arrested did a combined five tours of duty overseas. Well, Fort Stewart says it is fully cooperating with the FBI and the police during this investigation. WJCL's Rob Macko joins us now with the very latest. Hey, Rob. Hey, guys. Yeah, investigators say they thought that these men, or these men rather, thought that they were going to meet up with minors for sex. They ended up being caught in one of the first operations conducted by a new FBI task force. The FBI's Southeast Georgia Child Exploitation Task Force and Pooler Police have charged six men with sexual exploitation of children. The arrested include two Fort Stewart soldiers. 27-year-old Raymond Perez is a sergeant with the 703rd Brigade Support Battalion, 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team. He's been deployed three times. 25-year-old Daniel Powell is a specialist from the 2nd Battalion, 7th Infantry Regiment, 1st Armor Brigade Combat Team. He's deployed twice. The arrests were made on Friday and Saturday near exit 102 off Interstate 95. Officers busted three suspects at the Best Western Plus, two at the Sleep Inn, and one at this Burger King. Shame on the guys for trying to do something like that with minors. Shouldn't hurt our kids like that. So it's, uh, shame on them. According to the police report, Powell came here to the Sleep Inn. He was arrested around 1.30 Friday afternoon. Investigators allege he was looking to have sex with an underaged minor. The very next morning, police arrested Perez here at the Best Western Plus in Pooler. Police say he was also hoping to have sex with a minor. In a statement, Fort Stewart said these allegations, if true, do not represent the Army values we expect all 3rd Infantry Division soldiers to live by, and we strongly condemn such actions. We are and will continue to fully cooperate with law enforcement agencies during their investigation. The task force formed last summer. It works to find juveniles who are being sexually exploited through prostitution and the people exploiting them. This was a result of intelligence collection that we've done recognizing that there is a, a problem we need to look at. The FBI wouldn't get into any specifics. Supervisory senior resident agent Gene Cowell says the primary goal is to rescue juveniles, but he admits no children were found during this undercover operation. Pooler police say the suspects used the internet to try and meet juveniles. They say having the FBI on board was critical. It's difficult for us because a small town, everybody knows the police officers. So using, um, you know, their special agents and their skills are important to us. Both of the soldiers have been released to military police. Three women and three men were also arrested Saturday and they were charged with prostitution and related offenses. So guys, this is the first of uh, what they say will be many, many stings from this new task force, which just uh, formed last summer, but they say expect more arrests like this. Wow, okay. Thanks, Rob. Sure.